Welcome to this Windows 10 and computer channel and this is another video concerning that new computer you have. This is something that not a lot of people will do and it actually is quite important. So on older computers we had something called BIOS which is the basic input output system. It was replaced with the unified extended um, kind of BIOS, if you want, which is now much different than what a BIOS was in the past. But still, your computer needs to have the most updated version of this firmware in order to perform well. Why? Because this controls a lot of what your PC does and how it does it. There's Windows, but the, the UEFI or the BIOS of your PC also will kind of have a specific range of ways your computer is interacting with the hardware. As time goes by, they update this for several reasons. Sometimes because there are some bugs and they fix the bugs, but also because as new versions of Windows get on the market, sometimes they update this firmware so that the new version of Windows actually interacts better with the firmware itself. So sometimes you might have PC crashes and it's because your UEFI or BIOS is not to the latest update that's available. This is something that is unfortunately very misunderstood for most people and I totally understand that for the average user this is something that is probably very mysterious and you don't really know what you should do. So what do you do to update this? Well, you have to go to your manufacturer's website. So of course, if you build your own PCs, you need to go to the motherboard manufacturer. And on the motherboard's website, the manufacturer of that motherboard will have updated uh, UEFI or BIOS for firmware for your uh, motherboard. If it's a brand computer, you purchased a computer that's already installed with Windows, uh, Acer, Lenovo, Dell, HP, and so on, what you'll want is go to the manufacturer's website. There in the support pages, you have to find your specific model. Uh, and once you are on your specific model, you will see that in the downloads or in the support of that model, one of the uh, information there will be, of course, updating. Today's updates are quite easy because they are usually just a download of a, a little program and that program will actually update it automatically by itself without you having to do much. Just make sure you don't turn off the PC's power, the computer power while it's doing it. That's very important. But once it's updated, you'll have the latest in firmware. And that is something that is important for a good PC run. Uh, it will interact better with Windows and the latest versions of Windows. Uh, of course, if you have an old computer or if you purchased a second-hand computer, you can check it out. There might be an update, but remember that uh, you know you might be stuck in a BIOS or a UEFI firmware that is several years old. And that means that possibly the manufacturer is not issuing any updates anymore. But at least make sure you're at the latest version. And if you have a brand computer, sometimes the computer itself will have a UEFI or a firmware utility already pre-installed within Windows that you can actually use to check for updates. But it's something that is misunderstood. A lot of people don't really know about that, but having this updated to the latest version is often a good thing to have good stability within Windows or any operating system that you might use. If you enjoy videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.